with this upcoming schedule and five games left, how many wins do you think the Bears could pull off in the in the last five weeks of the 2023 season? Because me personally, I look at the schedule, I don't know. I see maybe two wins, maybe a third win, considering we have four wins over the whole season. So I think that's really uh, being optimistic. I would not be surprised if this team only came away with one more win over the next five games. However, you know, the Browns match up against us very well, but we've beaten the Cardinals in the past. The Falcons match up against us pretty well. I don't know. I'm looking at that Green Bay game, hoping that we might have some kind of upper hand, but the Packers, they're riding a hot hand right now, and they might have something to play for. So I don't know if I really see that many wins in this upcoming schedule. Um, that's a hard question because we don't know how our offense is going to do. They've been pretty inconsistent. Like, oh, hey, they got two games where Justin Fields threw for four touchdowns each, and then, you know, the rest, you know, it's not like he's been carrying the team anymore. Obviously, the Cardinals, you know, we can see ourselves possibly winning that, right? Um, If the offense gets it together, I mean, our defense is looking cons- like, good but we just don't know what our offense is going to do uh, i've been waiting for justin fields to improve and that one critical skill passing uh firing the ball in between the zones uh against a top zone defense he doesn't do that at the end of the game last week we saw him still struggling to pull the trigger and he's done a lot of good things in the clutch but he did not clutch that win dj moore got wide open and he scrambled forward and he chucked it to, over to dj moore it, that was like a playground throw or a schoolyard throw, you know? I'd actually credit the play calling in that situation to mm-hmm. call play that got him that wide open. I know we have a lot of criticism on Luke Getze, but he did do well in that scenario. Another thing about that, I know that uh, everyone wants to blame either Getze or Fields. You, from talking to me, you know that I'm a proponent of it could be either or. They've been working together and they they seem to be getting along. I can fault both of them. Uh, Justin Fields is calling a lot of stuff at the line of scrimmage. It's also very possible that he checks into those three screens in a row. We don't know exactly what's going on between them. That's why I kind of tie them together. Why haven't they fixed this critical issue in Justin Fields' passing game yet? This is far enough into Fields' pro career to where there should be... It, it, it should be more clear to all the fans watching that, you know, Fields is either on a path up. It should be more clear to all the fans watching that Fields is either on a path upward or a path downward. And I think we're still kind of all guessing and left in the dark a little bit. And and that concerns me a lot because, you know, I wanted to be sure at the end of last year that he's going to be our guy and to go through this entire season and, and have these ups and downs, uh, it's it's just such a struggle and in this league man you can either play or you can't 